As you can see, we've chose the co-brand Cornetto and Fortin's Chocolate. Our slogan is the luxury Cornetto cone with Fortin's Chocolate. This is a brief background on Cornetto. It was founded in 1976 in Naples. It positions itself as an affordable low-end ice cream. Thanks to numerous successful advertising campaign, Cornetto is now a success in the UK and Ireland. The RPP of a single Cornetto is 93p, whereas a four pack costs £2 in most supermarkets, therefore catering to a low end confectionery market for kids. Previously, the cone was a problem as it would turn soggy with the ice cream, but the Cornetto found an ingredient with oil, sugar, and chocolate coating the cone and made it tasty and successful. Fortunes was founded in Sheffield in the UK in 1911. Focus on high quality and excellent customer service, which is the opposite to Cornetto, which is why we've chosen to brand the two together. Our main strategic intent for Fortunes was it was the most popular confectionery shop in the high street and shopping centres. One of the UK's leading manufacturer and retailers of chocolates and confectionery products, and is also one of the UK's most popular brands with a strong reputation due to its commitment and quality. This is a justification for linking the two brands together. With our new product, we are attempting to rebrand Cornetto and make it a more high-end premium product, which is why we've chosen to co-brand Cornetto with a premium chocolate such as Fortunes. The ice cream has fallen out of fashion, especially the cone. It's shown that sales were up 6.9% for the tub, however we're down 5.5% last year. This is why we're trying to fight back for the cone against the tub with our new product. Cornetto has tried to target teenagers in the past with flavours and packaging, from 16 to 25 year olds. However, we are trying to move away from this age group and move towards 20 to 40 year olds, which is a more profitable market. Fortunes has a core of over 4 million customers, about 8% of UK adults, taking the market as a whole to 50% of adults, which purchased box of chocolates and assortments in the past year. Um, we now bring, we'll now bring you to our SWOT analysis of Cornetto and the SWOT analysis of the luxury daughters of the new Cornetto product. As you can see, the key main changes that were um, strengths that we didn't have on the first slide, or on the first sort of analysis, sorry, is that uh, we now have a unique taste of product. We now offer a wider range of um, tastes as we've teamed up with Daughters, obviously. This means that um, the two co-branding companies will offer a stronger brand, our products to the customers. Um, the weaknesses that we may face, we do understand that our new products may be expensive in comparison to the original Cornetto Pro. Uh, we also know that um, the product may, be, may seem unknown to the new customers. Um, another issue that we may face is um, uh, the threat section is that there's a big change in taste and we don't know if the consumers will like it. Segmenting, targeting and positioning is an analytical approach that helps the firm make an appropriate segment to reduce risk in deciding where to target, market selection and how the product should be positioned. Market segmentation, which refers to dividing the consumer market into small groups according to their similar needs and wants. The benefit of, of market segmentation, it helps evaluate and identify target market for our, pre for our premium product. It helps efficient allocation of resource, helps conduct successful marketing strategy. Appropriate services and functions can be developed according to the needs and wants for both gender, male and female. Segmentation variables for the luxury terms and comment cons. So we have a demographic, we have a psychographic, and we have a behavioristic. However, we ignore the geographic segment because our product is mainly going to be launched in the UK. Targeting. Targeting, which is referred to the specific group that, the, that our product is going to target. Which which they say, share the same needs and wants. The current target strategy for Cornetto, which is a differentiated targeting strategy, they mainly aim, they mainly focusing on targeting kids and families, and they divide the global market into different income groups. For instance, an American, peop American people would have to pay more for an ice cream than the German people. Our proposal targeting strategy for our premium product is, is going to be a, a, a constructed targeting strategy. This is because our, the product will target a single segment variable. By conducting the marketing, by, condu by, condu 
testing a concentrated marketing strategy targeting has been defined as a consistent set of buyers who share common needs and characters that the company decides to serve. Current target market for Cornetto is based on the diagram on the diagram based on targeting young people, mostly female. Cornetto current target strategy is a differentiated target strategy due to the approach they take to target the audience. And they have tried to target different segments, this is mainly the reason why they have used it. they have chosen the differentiated target strategy. Our proposal targeting strategy for our premium product is a concentrated targeting strategy. This is because our product will target the single market variables. By choosing the concentrated marketing strategy, we believe that our product will be well designed and it will satisfy a specific target market, which is, is shown in here in the demographic segment. So we will be targeting people from the age of 20 to 40, high income, middle upper class, male and female. And the reason why I'm choosing the demographic market segmentation to target them is because the recent, res recent research, research shows that this type of target segment is considered the most popular because consumer needs and wants and users are easier to measure than the other type of variables. The theory of positioning. Positioning is about creating an image in the minds of target consumers. And positioning helps the product or service distinguished from similar products. Positioning can be a competitive advantage and it's the choice of where we want to compete and how we wish to compete. The main objective of this is to create and maintain a distinct, distinctive place market for a company and its products. And there's four main important aspects of uh, product positioning. First one is uh, to understand the consumer needs and uh, product positioning starts with identifying specific mar market uh, segments and the more specific the better. Second is the efficient positioning could be competitive options of the business. Uh, th since there is only a few premium ice cream brands existing in the market so it's a good time to uh, to go in and uh, Third is the communication channel, channels. We, uh, we need to collect the feedback from consumers and therefore we need to build some communication channels which to connect with uh, consumers. And finally, we need to deliver a powerful message to the market that uh, express, express the quality of pro our, our product. And there are the six elements of positioning a product. First, is the quality of the product, which is far for us is premium quality and uh, will be selling at a higher price compared to other similar products, and uh, also producing a better quality. And uh, we are aiming at uh, a old, uh, older target, which is able to spend more money in consuming, and we provide some consumer service such as free trails in the supermarket, such as weekly rolls. And uh, we also uh, packaging our product in a modern design, and uh, we will mostly pl will place our product in supermarkets as close to our target consumers, and uh, we will advertise our product on so well social media such as Facebook, and also some advertisement on television and uh, to have a better understanding of our product positioning uh, perceptual mapping uh, is a good method and uh, it's a uh, diagram, diagrammatic technique to display the viewpoint of consumer and potential consumers is transferred by quantitative answers and, kind of, and our product is now more expensive with more flavor making in a more premium brand and uh, in our product now is at uh, upward left of the in the perceptual mapping and uh, it where is a low price 
compared to Hagen Dazs, but uh, it's uh, uh, have a bad quality as to other competitors. I will now bring you to the branding stage of the presentation. Um, as we all know, a brand these days is an important part of the business. A brand can represent a company's ethos and how they believe their product should be delivered to the consumer. And for, because of this, consumers tend to fall in love with companies. Uh, you've seen this with uh, Coke as a major example of that. And we're hoping that the new Cornetto and Daunton's brand will be a brand that consumers love. Um, the product will uh, remain in a cone, however, and will now be branding the, co um, the Cornetto cone as a luxury cone with a good quality chocolate. Um, of Daunters inside it rather than the initial basic chocolate that we used before. Our new slogan will be the luxury code with Daunters chocolate and this will be seen as catchy, memorable and enticing and this should make the consumer perceive the brand with a luxury chocolate and an ice cream to go along with it and that will justify our new price increase. With Daunters and Cornetto um, merging, the two companies will be able to reach both target markets i.e. the target markets of Cornetto and Daunters and because of this, we'll be able to justify a bigger market share as we'll be getting two loyal customers. Um, since statistics show now that consumers are now opting for ice creams which are in tubs rather than all other luxury based ice creams, we're now looking to persuade our consumers to return to buying the cone that they loved before. Um, so, by mixing the two brand beliefs, we could form an, a new attractive company that will fill in the gaps in the market. IMC. This stands for Integrated Marketing Communications which integrates all elements of the promotional mix. It represents the voice of the brand, in this case, our new premium ice cream. We are looking to advertise in a way which makes the consumer perceive our item as a luxury good and a good quality ice cream. We will do this for a luxury, classy TV advert representing the quality and the change in our good. Price estimation and justification. The price of the premium Cornetto cone is going to be £2.50. This is a psychological pricing method, as it's under £3, which should persuade the consumer to purchase a new item. In order to move to a new premium brand and compete with products such as Ben & Jerry and Hagen Dazs, who price their products at 4 99 per tub, the £2.50 is under this price. For a four-pack of the premium Cornettos, this will be priced at £4.50. This is still under the £4.99 of our competitors, which should persuade consumers to purchase. Uh, the price will send a signal to consumers that they are purchasing good quality. The key determines determinations of price. The three C's. Customer demand. We are effect effectively setting an upper price to attract high-end customers rather than everyday people which used to buy the old Cornetto cone. There is a price ceiling of £2.50 per cone. This is set as I think raising the price any further than this will deter customers. Uh, there is no price for price floor as we may need to lower the price in order to not get forced out of the market. Uh, as you can see our price is set at £2.50. A product is a good which is offered or performed by an organisation or individual which is capable of satisfying the customer's needs. In this case the product is a premium Cornetto cone with Thornton's chocolate in the ice cream and at the end of the cone. The product is going to be packaged in a luxury dark brown packaging with Thornton's and Cornetto logo so that the customer perceives that they are going to get good value for money. This is as a higher price represents a higher quality. Place. Place is defined as the distribution channel to be used as outlet locations and methods of transportation. Therefore, putting your product in the right place at the right time is crucial in order to convert potential clients into actual clients. Distribution methods used will be intensive in order to compete with other ice creams and which have a large market share. Therefore, the product will be placed in all leading supermarkets and Thornton's retailers as well as cinema chains. We aim to place the product on sale in the late spring, early summer when ice creams will make their most sales. Within Thornton's, the product will be strategically placed in ways to persuade the customer to purchase our product over our competitors. We will aim to sell the product nationwide and in large quantities to enable high sale volumes to gain a large market share. We will do this by using multi-channel distribution methods. The main promotion that will take place will be taste testing within the supermarkets, city centres and shopping centres. In order to increase brand awareness and to persuade consumers that the taste can match and supersede that of our competitors. 
Yeah, we're now bringing it to our product, product life cycle. Over here, as you can see, the promotional strategies such as taste test testing that we'll do in the introduction of the product. And as you can see, as the product grows through maturity, all the, the price will remain at 250. And over here, this is the decline. And at this stage, we'll implement the market research in order to analyze what consumers like and dislike. And we hope by this research, we can uh, advance a product.